pwede mo naman sabihin na hindi ikaw yun, di ba? Kasi kung talagang hindi ikaw yan, I think you would have said, that's not you. But instead, you invoked your right to self-incrimination. And why do I not believe that? I can identify two of the people behind you. Magkabatch po tayo, Ms. Guo. Kasi nga po, nakita natin, parallel po, based on the matrix, for example, I'm sure there are many more POGO operations, pero parallel po yung sa PORAC and yung sa BAMBAN. So that, uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to direct my first question to Ms. Ong and uh, to Ms. Guo. Uh, Ms. Ong, you had said before that kilala niyo po si Ms. Guo. Tama po ba? Yes po, Mr. Chair. And in what capacity po yan, Ms. Ong? Uh, nakilala ko lang po siya dahil kay Wesley Guo po. Si Wesley Guo is supposedly your boyfriend po. Tama po, Mr. Chair. Yes po, Mr. Chair. And you've met Wesley Guo how po? Uh, somewhere in Binondo po. In Binondo po. Pero si Wesley Guo, the brother of Alice Guo. Um, Mr. Chair, may I direct my question to Ms. Alice Guo? Um, you mentioned po you lived in Tarlac for most of your life po. Tama po ba? Uh, yes po, Mr. Chair. So from age 0 to, you claim to be 38 po, no, Ms. Guo? Uh, from 0 to 38, talagang residence po ninyo is Tarlac? Uh, yes po. Do you, have you at any point in time found yourself in Binondo? Uh, Binondo, never naman po ako tumira sa Binondo. Never tumira. But you visited Binondo po ba? Uh, yes po. For what purpose po kaya yan? Uh, minsan mamasyal, minsan may bibilhin. Okay, so from there, would you have any idea of the circumstances surrounding the meeting of Miss Ong and si, your brother, si Wesley? I'm uh, sorry po, uh, one more time po. Uh, may idea po kayo kung paano nakilala si Wesley, si uh, Miss Ong? Uh, wala po, Mr. Chair. Tapos, so, sariling lakad niya po yun, yung sa Binondo, and then they met? Uh, yes po. Okay. Uh, I'd direct my questions again to Miss Ong. So, you say you're in a relationship with Wesley. Ano po yung birthday ni Wesley Guo? February 23. Feb 23? Yes po. That would peg him, uh, what year po? 1990. Um, wait, bilangin ko lang po. Mr. Chair, um, do we have anyone who can confirm the date? Because my data says otherwise. I think. Uh, Perhaps, Mr. Chair, I can ask the Bureau of Immigration. Um, yeah. they, they might have the documents. Po, no? Mr. Chair, directing my question to the Bureau of Immigration. Anong birthday po ni uh, Mr. Wesley Guo? based on his Philippine passport. Uh, Mr. Chair, good evening. Unfortunately, we don't have it, uh, but I undertake to give it before the end of the session, sir. Okay. Please, can we confirm? Because as far as I understand, I've seen the picture of the passport, and it said February 1. And it would be very curious po na Ms. Ong wouldn't know the birthday of, his boy, of her boyfriend for four years na po. Tama po. But we'll confirm it later po naman, no? We don't have the data. Would you know po kung anong schools pinuntahan ni Wesley Guo? Boyfriend mo po of four years, hindi mo po alam kung anong schools pinuntahan niya? Hindi po, Mr. Chair. Isn't that curious? Di ka man lang na curious kung saan po siya pumunta for schooling? Hindi po. So ano yung mga... What, what aspects of his life do you know about? Alam mo po ba kung anong hobbies niya? Maglaro po. Maglaro. Ng gamdam. Ng gamgam. Ng... Ga uh, parang robot. Robot. Ilang po. And the nature of his work, are you familiar po? No po. Hindi rin. So as supposedly a couple from 2020 or 2021, hindi mo po alam yung school niya, hindi mo po alam yung interest niya, and I'm pretty sure hindi mo alam yung birthday niya. So that's what I'm trying to point out here, Mr. Chair. I do not believe in the story that Ms. Guo, Ms. Al, Ms. Guo and Ms. Ong know the, each other through the brother. In fact, I believe the matrix more in which what binds them is their work relation through Mr. Duan Ren Wu and Mr. Xiang Chi. And in fact, I would, if, if there's anything that I would change with the matrix, I would say that dapat si Duan Wen Ru and si Xiang Jie should be in the middle between the two because he is the link that binds. Because, Mr. Chair, I'd like to ask again, 
between the two, between Baofu, which I think, uh, Ms. Guo, ano po yung relation po natin sa Baofu? Uh, Your Honor, after po ako nag-divest, uh, wala na po kami relationship. Oh, but prior po, you were an incorporator. Uh, prior po, Baofu, uh, landowner. Okay, landowner po talaga. So, Baofu, may link po tayo kay Ms. Uh, Guo. Kay Ms. Ong naman, admittedly, incorporator ng LS99 through Mr. Duan Ren Wu. So we see, ito na po yung sinasabi ng matrix na parallel operation. We have here two owners of yung supposedly, uh, yung land-owning uh, corporation, which will eventually lend to the Pogo, of which they are still uh, actually uh, a part of. Yung si Mr. Duan Ren Wu, if I remember, is Ninong po ni Ms. Ong. Is that correct, Ms. Ong? Yes po, Mr. Chair. And admittedly, si Mr. Duan Ren Wu, kila rin po ni Ms. Guo. Is that correct, Ms. Guo? Uh, Your Honor, nakilala ko po siya through Cassie Lee. Through Cassie, allegedly. Through, you met Cassie through the boyfriend na hindi niya nga mabanggit kung anong school or anong birthday. But admittedly, you know si Mr. Duan Menru, who you were seen together abroad when you escaped the Philippines. Is that correct, uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, Mr. Chair, na-met ko po siya nung sinama po ni Cassie sa amin. Oh, pero kasama po ninyo abroad, Indonesia po ba yan or Malaysia? Uh, hindi po kasama, na-met ko lang po siya dahil sinama po don, ni Cassie. Dahil doon. And Mr. Duan Menru and Mr. Mr. Zhang Chen naman, kaya, paano mo po kilala, Ms. Guo? Siya po yung nag-arrange ng hotel nyo, di ba? Uh, Your Honor, hindi ko po kilala si Zhang Jie. Hindi niyo po kilala. Pero in-arrange lang po yung hotel nyo? Um, hindi po siya nag-arrange ng hotel namin. Hindi ko po siya kilala. Hindi niyo po kilala. Okay, we'll come back to that. So, si Mr. Duan Renru and si Zhang Jie, na president of LS99, dito po natin nakikita in parallel po yung nangyayari sa kanila. And why I find it hard to believe, for example, yun, yung kwento ni Ms. Ong na kilala niya si Ms. Gu through the boyfriend, di naman lang masubstantiate. And uh, kay Ms. Guo naman, although this might be hearsay for the committee, pero ako po personally, I hope you'd understand, di po, di po ako naniniwala sa story na kayo po ay sa Tarlac from 0 to 38. Actually, Mr. Chair, can we ask the committee if nakaredy po yung photo? It was already shown before, pero yung class photo po ni Ms. Guo. Secretariat. Ms. Go, while waiting for that po, you say you were born in 1986. Tama po ba? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. That puts you at, how, how old are you now po? 38. 38. And at the time, naalala niyo po yung picture po, no? Na na-present last time. But you claim na di niyo po yun... Ano you, you, you picture, invoke Your, your right. Yung picture, class picture niyo po. Uh, I invoke my right. You Apa. invoke your right. Pwede mo naman sabihin na hindi ikaw yun, di ba? Uh, Your Honor, I hope you understand sa sobrang dami na pong kaso na nasampahan po ngayon sa court. Kaya uh, anything po na isasagot ko po dito sa inyo may use against me po. Opo. Well, I think that's why I have a tendency not to believe you po. Kasi kung talagang hindi ikaw yan, I think you would have said that's not you. But instead, you invoked your right to self-incrimination. And why do I not believe that? I can identify two of the people behind you. Magkabatch po tayo, Ms. Guo. I know what year this was taken. And they have a description of you. Nung pumasok ka po sa Grace, napaka-thick po ng accent ninyo, mandarin lang ang kaya salita. But you were very friendly and you were very makulit. And that's why they had a hard time to forget you, even though hanggang grade 3 ka lang daw po dun. Now I know, like I said, that's hearsay as far as the committee is concerned kasi well, hindi naman nandito yung my personal knowledge dun. But when I was talking to that person with personal knowledge, na-convinced naman po ako and they've identified you. In fact, if you were 38 and this picture was 2001, you would have been 13, 14 po ba? Eh, kasing age mo naman yung mga 19, we were, these people were born 91, 92. Kasize mo naman po, I don't think you're that much older than them. And that's why I really don't think, I don't buy that story that you were born in 1986. And I don't buy the story that this is not you. In fact, they called you Ping. Ping po yung nickname niyo dito. But anyway, that's just to prove the point po, no? But what does that say about the testimony here before us? Thank you, ComSec, for the page. Uh, we have a Latin maxim po, no? Falsus in uno, falsus in omnibus. When you're false in one thing, it's false in everything. So this puts into light every statement that you have made. Of course, aside from the statements made regarding the uh, right against self-incrimination. But if we're talking po about everything she said, that she was in Tarlac for 30 years, that all of her life, 
or the fact po that uh, she was not the person in the Bamban resolution, this is going to be your testimony versus documentary evidence. Yung Bamban resolution number 185 series of 2020, citing you as the applicant for Hong Sheng Gaming, uh, ano po yung sagot mo doon? Uh, you said you have no recollection at all kung paano na nasama yung pangalan po ninyo. Tama po ba yan, Mr. Chair? Uh, Mr. Chair, all related Hong Sheng, Bao Fu, uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. Okay. And um, this proves it even more. Yung, if you can't relate to us how you're related to the rest, so then I guess the document stands po na may kinalaman po kayo sa Hong Sheng. Another thing po, you claim na walang Filipinos involved sa escape. How do we know that we can take that for granted? Kasi, yun nga, as far as we're concerned, false in one, false in all. And then, of course, the allegations that 3.2 billion was transferred to Hong Sheng through the partners mentioned earlier. And it's parallel also because I remember, if I'm not mistaken, Chair Dan Fernandez mentioned there was also a similar transfer going on between Mr. Duan Ren Wu and Ms. Uh, uh, Ms. Cassandra Ong. So we see nga po na talagang, I think, my basis yung matrix, talagang parallel yung operations. And I think that's as much as we can get from them. Bao Fu and Hong Sheng versus Lucky South 99 and Whirlwind are two, coin, two sides of the same coin. They're parallel operations held by a consistent cast of characters. And now that the Quadcom is digging deeper, we're now moving up the ladder. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get anything more from Ms. Ong and Ms. Guo, given that they have cases and they have repeatedly uh, cited their right. They've repeatedly invoked their right against self-incrimination. So I think we have no choice but to move on with the matrix. So with that, Mr. Chair, I'd be asking my questions to Mr. Yang. Yeah, but before that, uh, Your Honor, let me ask uh, the, the lawyer of uh, Ms. Alice Go. Uh, your participation here is to advise your client only of her legal rights. And please, advise her also what questions she needs to answer. If the question being asked, being propounded by a member is not related to the case, that she is uh, facing, then you have to compel her to answer. And that goes the same with other counsels present. Okay, para lang ho, maliwanag, that's our ground rules. Uh, alam naman po ninyo, kayo mga lawyers, alam nyo naman po kung ano yung makaka-apekto sa kaso nila. Kaya wag nyo silang pabayaang magtago sa likod ng right against self-incrimination. And we just want to make that clear. Please continue, uh, Congressman uh, Gutierrez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, before I move on, I'd like to go back. Well, I still have two more photos with the ComSec on the issues of Ms. Ong and Ms. Go. Um, Committee Secretariat, may we ask for the pictures of uh, Lucky South 99 and uh, uh, Yung Hong Sheng to be displayed? May I ask, Mr. Chair, the uh, PAOCC, uh, si Dr. Casho, uh, Mr. Chair, generally ang pogo, kailangan po ba compound talaga? If I understand correctly, meron po tayong mga pogo operations within Metro Manila, is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Honorable Gutierrez, uh, in the past, uh, PAGCOR allowed what was dubbed as hubs. By hubs, meaning to say different locators, different pogo operators can exist within one hub. But if I do recall, the only hubs that were ever uh, licensed by PAGCOR uh, were the one in Clark, San Valley, which was raided by the ACG and PAOC uh, on May of last year. The second one was, um, if I am not mistaken, the one in uh, Bamban, no? uh, Baufu. And the last one is the last remaining hub that's winding down, yung sa, ano po, yung dito po sa Island Cove, Cavite. So generally, Mr. Chair, ang Pogo, it doesn't necessarily have to be a hub. They can operate parang BPO lang po siya. Sometimes they rent a floor lang po, tama po ba Yes, yun? sir. They can rent as uh, small a space as 300 square meters. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for clarifying. So para lang alam ng ating mga kababayan, kasi nabanggit po ng PAGCOR, meron pong 240 plus na nabanggit ng mga POGO. Baka iniisip po nila lahat yun POGO hub. But it seems to be only the big operators are the POGO hubs. It's, for example, yung sa Baufo and sa Lucky South 99. Kaya nga po parang parallel because amongst all the POGO, sila lang po yung ganito. Sila lang po yung may hub. And it seems to indicate na they have the same modus operandi and they have the same intention to include mga love scam, mga cryptocurrency uh, scamming, 
and other related crimes. Kasi hindi naman po yan manggagawa sa 300 square meter na office building po, no? So I think this is just another point of parallelism between the two. And then uh, one more thing, Mr. Chair, uh, Committee Secretary, yung next picture po, please, yung sa, yung mansion. Ms. Ong, uh, Mr. Chair, is this image familiar to you po? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Can you explain to us ano po yung nakikita natin sa picture? Ah, nakita mo naman po. Um, is that your house? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Ito yung mansion po ninyo sa Porak? Opo. Mr. Chair, can we, for everyone to see, can we have the picture again? Ms. Ong, gano'ng kalaki po yung inyong property dito? Tama po ba? That's like a little massage house in the middle of the lake behind the bigger mansion proper. Tama po ba, Ms. Ong? Uh, lahat po yan, bahay po. Wala pong massage. Ah, wala massage. Yung gita. Yes, so lahat po. yan, bahay. So yung no, gitna. Po. So gano'ng kalaki po itong property nyo? Uh, yung lot po is around 3 hectares po. 3 hectares yung lot. And yes, all po. of this at the tender age of 24. Would you care to substantiate how you made your money out of this? Lahat po yan, na-inherit po ba, Mr. Chair? Uh, Mr. Chair, I invoke my right. You po, invoke your right. Na po of course. Kasi meron pong kinasa sa akin. Kasi nga po, kahit yung reasoning na binigay mo last time na 35 million per month, hindi rin yun tama eh. Kasi at 35 million per month na you would make out of the 70,000 hectares that you were renting out, that's only still just 35 million, which wouldn't account for the billions of worth Sabi niyo po, wala po kayong inutang to make yung phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. Not including itong mansion po ninyo. Because the truth of the matter is, based on the reports, if we're to believe, this is actually bahay ni Mr. Duan Rin Wu. Hindi naman po ito sa'yo. You're going to invoke your right or you're going to deny it. That's fine, Ms. Ong. But I'm just presenting it for the facts that the unbelievable story of rags to riches at 24 through inheritance from your mom, based on nothing more than the right connections at the right time, parang sobrang unbelievable po. We are more inclined to believe these parallel operations in which at the center is Duan Ren Wu and everyone else going up. So with that, Mr. Chair, I'll conclude na po yung kay Ms. Ong and kay Ms. Gu. I'd like to go on po as we go up with the ladder kay Mr. Yang. Uh, thank you, Committee Secretary, for the picture. Um, um, to yes. Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. I just have a question, just out of curiosity, if okay. I may. It, with um, the indulgence of uh, yeah, Congressman Gutierrez. With the indulgence of um, Congressman Gutierrez. Um, Komsek, pwede mo ba maibalik ulit yung bahay nung ni Ms. Kasiong? Ms. Kasi, pwede niyo po bang sabihin niyo kung tama po yung pagkaunawa ko dito sa litrato? So meron pong lake at yung bahay po niyo ay yun nasa gitna. Tama po ba yun? Can you go back? Hindi, yung bahay po, yung bahay Komsek. Yung bahay, Comsec. Prior picture, please. Yan. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes? Uh, yes po. Yes po, Mr. Chair. Ah, so yung bahay po, ano po yung nasa gitna ng lake? Bahay po. Tapos ito pong nandito sa may bandang baba? Bahay din po, Mr. Chair. Oh, so you have a house within a house? Tapos yung nandun po sa ibabaw niya na parang kulay puti na um, I don't know how you describe it. Parang ano ba yan? Is that also a body of water? Uh, garden po yan, Mr. Chair. Garden. Okay. Yeah, I'm Itong lake po ito is man-made or natural? Uh, can I consult my lawyer po? No, I mean, it, no, it's actually, <laughs> it, well, it's... Man Lake po, ma. Uh, Mr. Chair. Huh? Man Lake po. Man made. Mm. Man made. Gano kalalim po yung lake? Uh, hindi ko po sure, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you very much. I'm just trying to figure out kasi yung figures na binanggit ni Kong Rods. At I'm... Medyo kinakwenta ko po kung magkano aabutin to kasi kung man-made po yan, uh, chairman, at saka kung gaano kalalim at yung lawak, tapos nice to live there, ha? 
Thank you very much, Mr. Chair.